There we go. Um, Hyper-V uh, is a Microsoft product that ships uh, with Windows Server 2008. Um, and basically, it is a hypervisor virtualization application. Now, that's a mouthful. What it really means is that Intel and AMD on their Operaton and Xenon processors uh, have extended, and, and Intel with their, their Core 2 Duo chips, now have certain uh, enhancements to them that allows virtualization software to kind of get in between the, the host operating system and the hardware so it allows the virtual machine almost direct access to the hardware. And what does that mean? It means performance. It means a big jump at boost in performance. It means it's not all being emulated through software that the virtual machine is addressing, is sharing memory, sharing processing power with the host operating system. It's uh, uh, so it's going to create some really wicked fast virtual machines. Um, we've not had a chance yet to play with uh, VM or with uh, Hyper-V. Uh, however, um, and maybe it's pronounced Hyper-5, but I see a Hyper-V. Um, but I have had a chance to review some blog articles, some tech notes, to listen to some other people talk about it who know firsthand. And I'm going to be quoting Mary Jo Foley. She uh, did an article on ZD, uh, ZDNet.com, and where she says that uh, um, that uh, even though that uh, VMware's ESX server product is a current market leader, uh, the new Microsoft Hyper-V is going to be something to really watch out for. It does use a hypervisor to provide hardware hardware abstraction services. That's what we talked about before. The hypervisor kind of inserts itself between the operating system and the hardware. And, um, and, and so you're really sharing the resources of the hardware versus uh, products like uh, uh, VMware Server or uh, uh, Parallels, other programs that are doing everything in, in, uh, doing everything in software. So it's not a soft, so much as a software emulation as it's a virtual machine that's really, it's more of a share, if you kind of think of it in this terms, it's more of a sharing uh, type of thing where the, the virtual machines are kind of in their own little partitions using some, you know, using their processor and RAM and so forth. And this compares very, very favorably against the uh, ESX product that, uh, that VMware has. Um, so <clears throat> it does tend to be faster, but it's also much more scalable, and it's uh, it can definitely be used uh, to create virtual machines, uh, to manage your virtual machines. Now this is interesting enough. Um, when it talks about managing virtual machines, you can't manage the same machines on the same uh, machine run, uh, running the Hyper the Hyper V virtual machines. It's got to be from another Windows 2008 server. I I find that kind of interesting. Now, like I said, I haven't seen it in practice, but uh, that's what the author of the article says. Now that may uh, have been addressed by Microsoft. Um, so ins installation is pretty easy on it. You uh, can either do a full install of Windows Server 2008. Something new in Windows Server 2008 is a, uh, uh, which is a, uh, just a base install, which basically there's no GUI install uh, with Windows Server 2008. It's all command line. You can uh, create virtual machines through the command line. Very, very interesting. Uh, there are, uh, when, the, uh, when you create the virtual machine, uh, Windows will install what's called the integration components. It's, if you use VMware, there's the VMware tools. It's basically the Microsoft's uh, solution to that. Um, but the performance is really, really excellent on these virtual machines. And that's what's, what's cool. So what does Hyper-V cost? It doesn't. It comes with uh, the uh, Windows Server 2008. And you basically are just uh, if you do the full GUI install, you just select the server role as an additional role. The server is a as a, uh, as a uh, Hyper-V machine, and you start creating your virtual machines, and off you go. Now, some of the questions people say, well, 
can I use the same copy of Windows Server 2008 uh, to, that I used to install on the, on the physical server? Can I create a virtual machine with that same license? It's my understanding you cannot. Uh, in most instances, you have to, it's just like you, you, you have a blank new computer there and you have to purchase the operating system and so forth. Now, there is going to be some exceptions for that. You'll have to uh, go to Microsoft's website and see what all the rules are. So, <clears throat> is there a downshot uh, to the Hyper-V program? And as I said, oh, that minimal install, by the way, is referred to as a, a core install. Uh, and that is, is that you have to have another Windows 2008 uh, server uh, with the full-blown install done in order to uh, uh, remotely manage uh, the, uh, the first server that's running the, the tool. So, um, you just kind of right now would be stuck using like terminal services or something like that to manage them. Basically, Microsoft uh, uh, created a, re a relationship with Citrix and ZenSource. Uh, so some of the stuff is going, if you're familiar with ZenSource, and probably is, maybe as a small business person, you're going, okay, Bruce, I, <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Um, they've done a lot of open source stuff, community kind of stuff, and uh, they uh, kind of started an agreement to share technology back and forth with Microsoft. Look, at the end of the day, here's a great way to get virtualization, enterprise level virtualization, for the price of this Windows 2008 server. And that alone is a, a tremendous bargain. And you're not only getting that, but you're getting a, a hypervisor based uh, system. So you can get some really tremendous performance out of this stuff. But you better be prepared for the cost that is going to be in the hardware. Because it's much more hardware intensive, because everything's done in hardware, you're going to have to buy a pretty doggone powerful server if you're going to do much virtualization. But that's still going to save you big money over the long haul yeah, to, to get a, a more powerful server now. And then uh, after those virtualization tools, so instead of saying, well, we want to we want to run Mass 90 now, rather than saying, okay, I, Mr. IT guy, go out and price me a new server, you say, that's cool. We'll create a virtual machine on our server and uh, install the operating system and uh, install the application, and I just save myself a few grand, and I'm you know I'm, I'm saving <coughs> energy and I don't have to worry about that. And I'm doing all of that. Uh, with the Microsoft product. Uh, so I think Hyper-V is going to be a huge sales point for Windows Server 2008.